I'm gonna show you the technique behind a classic French omelette. All right, what we need is eggs. Everyone always talks about a three egg omelette. I don't know if it's just me and I eat a lot, but three eggs isn't enough. I'm into a four egg omelette. So get yourself some large eggs and you want four of them. Now, as an apprentice, I got drilled into me how to make an omelette this way, the classic French way, which is no color. There's no caramelization of the egg on the outside. It is just sort of say almost a little bit runny in the middle of the omelette. If you learn this, you'll be able to make a million different combinations of omelette for a quick lunch, quick dinner, or quick breakfast. It's a good thing to have in your tool bag. So a little bit of salt and white pepper. I'm using a fork, okay? If you use a whisk, you actually damage the album and the whites of the egg, and then you don't get the same texture in your omelette. So use a fork. When I was young and I had a tall chef's hat up to about here that they made you wear, ridiculous. They also made you enter cooking competitions, also ridiculous. Yeah, and I, well, I was like a young Scottish champion omelette maker or something, I can't even remember what it was. It's in the book. There's a photo of me with a large hat on. Preposterous. Okay. I'm gonna show you how to do a non-stick pan. Now, these days, non-stick pans, they're very good. It's just easier. So what to do is I've got the heat on. It's about low, medium heat, okay? If I was to put butter in that pan, it would turn into burn noisette and burn immediately. That's why you use oil. Now, spatula. What the fucking spatula? No, it's gone. Spatula. Rubber spatula, non-stick pan, good idea. And we're gonna go straight in. Now this happens super quick from this point, right? Straight in with the eggs. And immediately start moving around the egg so as it doesn't caramelize in the bottom of the pan. So you can see how quickly the egg is cooking. So I've lifted the pan off the heat source. And a bit like scrambled eggs, you wanna kinda half cook it. And so now I'm gonna start rolling it. So first roll over and then Second roll over, and then we start to tuck in the sides because that's what gives you this beautiful cigar-shaped omelette that you see in France. And then we bump the omelette so as it moves down to the bottom of the pan. And then we're gonna go into a plate like that. And now we get our paper and we make the shape. So I'm tucking in the omelette and I'm creating a cigar shape on the plate. And so the beauty of that is, is that as it continues to cook, it holds the shape that I've got it in here, this nice cigar shape. And we just leave it there for 30 seconds and then whip off the paper towel. And there you go, a beautiful, classic French omelet. I'm happy with that. 